Hey, welcome to the Taste This TV. I'm Chef Joe Simonera. Today we have another fun-filled episode. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go through some products and, uh, and get cooking. So I hope you're having a great day. All right, to get it started. We're gonna do beef stew today, but not just any beef stew, beef stew my way. Now, the beef stew my way really is a little bit different. Um, number one, we don't use any kind of like dried or frozen type of vegetables. Everything is fresh, even these peas that look beautiful. Uh, and we're gonna do just a, a very simple basic braise for about two hours, and that's really gonna break down the meat, you know, and the meat is very important. We're using all natural free range steak. You know, we talk about that, that we don't want any type of, uh, you know, chemical antibiotic and all that stuff that they pump the, uh, the animals with. And we want some safe conditions, you know, and what you are, you are what you eat, and you have to be extremely careful, especially when you're getting your meat. So. Um, kosher is good. This is a grass-fed beef, and that's how I like it. So, fresh origins. They're all friends of Taste This TV. And I'm not going to be using their crudite mix, but I thought that this was pretty cool because they have like these old little vegetables that you have to have really a lot of patience to, to go through, but they're incredible, especially just to put on top of fish and very delicate. I'm going to use this basil mix. Um, and I'm actually gonna fortify and season this stew with this at the very end. If you were around, I would give you an edible flower because I love you. All right, these are really good and you can eat them. You know, it's funny too, like I'm in front of somebody that's never eaten a flower before. I'll take one, pop it in their mouth and they'll jump and kind of grab at me. They think this is bad to eat. What about the chocolate covered grasshoppers and everything else that comes in here time to time, right? Next, uli, or unique fruit that we got here. Now, if you've ever been to Jamaica, all my Jamaica friends are saying, yeah, I know what this is. Of course I know what this is. It's cool because it's, not, it's kind of a cross between a grapefruit and a tangerine. It's got some really good flavor with it. Uh, we'll probably do something with these tangerines that we got. As you can see, they're really incredible. Uh, and we're probably gonna do something with uh, barleens. Uh, definitely their mango peach. We're gonna get a little healthy on that baby at the end, drizzle a little bit on top. And then, hey, you know what? We may turn around with a little rose rabbit here, a little liqueur after dinner drink will be great to, uh, to really hone in on this beef dish. So why don't we get started just uh, with the pot that we got some mirepoix in here. You know mirepoix, right? Carrots, celery, onions. Looks like this, right? And that's what I did. I chopped, we got some onions, some celery, and stuff like that. We're gonna put uh, some grapeseed oil in there. We're gonna saute this baby up, and when it's golden brown, we may deglaze with a little red wine and start putting the other ingredients in there. So this is stage one of this beef stew. And beef stew, you really want it to cook, you know, like four or five hours. I, I mean, I like my stuff like falling off the bone. I had braised short ribs the other day. It was completely tough. It was like shoe leather. So I like to braise my beef, braise it a long time, take your time. You know, it's something that you put it on the stove, do what you got to do around the house, maybe run an errand or two. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to do to get started. So we're going to saute this, get all the caramelizations of those vegetables. Then we're going to deglaze and get those residual sugars back up into the pan and work it. So uh, let's get cooking. Now the first thing I like to do is I like to throw some of that grapeseed oil in there. Grapeseed oil is really perfect with this whole dish. Uh, it's gonna be a neutral oil. It's really what we're gonna be looking to do with this. Uh, and again, we're gonna turn this baby up and we're gonna let nature take its course here. We're gonna caramelize these vegetables and then we're gonna be putting all this other cool stuff over here. These babies are fresh peas. Now a lot of people may have never seen these before because they're used to that store-bought garbage uh, or that frozen dead vegetables I like to call it but these peas are definitely incredible when you're eating good stuff like this my friends you're eating good stuff now we're going to throw our peas in this now this is the start of a great dish right here now we got a lot of things going on here with these peas carrots onions Oh, you get the flavor and the smell here. Those fresh peas are really where it's at. Get the real stuff, get the fresh stuff, and treat your body to some good cooking food. Now here's this beef I was talking to you about. See that stuff? Now that is what I'm talking about. 
free range grass fed beef. Only what we're eating here on today's show and only what you should be putting in your body as well, right? Now we're coming over to my little test lab here. Now we got this stuff here called uh, Cypress White Flake Salt. And we're gonna season the beef just a little bit before we put it into this pot. Next, we got some Herbs de Provence. If you like Herbs de Provence, it goes great with beef stew. I'm, you know, I'm not really a big fan of dried herbs, but in this case, we're gonna do it. Now, we're gonna mix this beef up a little bit and we're gonna throw it right in the pot. What we're gonna do is throw these tomatoes in here. Now these are beautiful tomatoes as you can see. And we're just gonna throw those right in the pot. But these tomatoes after three hours of cooking, boy, are really gonna be something else. You don't have to dice them up too small, this is good. And next we're gonna fill all of this with water. Right about to the top there. We're gonna let that baby do its thing for a few hours. Ah! That's what I'm talking, my friends, delicious beef stew. We're talking about Chef Joe's beef stew, ladies and gentlemen, take a look there, right? Now, I took a little bit of these uh, micro basil mix here and put it in there. The aroma of the basil is really nice. You got some flavor in the micro greens. You need a little greens in there to keep it honest, right? Keep you healthy as well. But look at these peas. If this was like that store-bought mess, you know, that canned beans or frozen, man, these things would have been like mashed potatoes. We got our tangerines, and of course, we're gonna finish it with a little Barleen's mango peach, rich in omega uh, fatty acids that your body needs. We're gonna call this the omega swirl, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna take our beef. This is gonna be our dessert. And this is gonna be our little Parte, parte, a little later. We're gonna take a shot of this rose rabbit. Put me right to bed. We're gonna wake up and plan what else to make because that's my life. I wake up in the morning and I say, well, what are we gonna have for dinner? What am I gonna plan for the show? You know, go to the market. Go check out some incredible fish, produce, meat, you name it. So I think that's gonna really conclude everything. You can't forget about this big udi, or they call it unique. This Jamaica, this product of Jamaica now, I'm really surprised that this hasn't taken off in the US. You know, combination of tangerines, grapefruit, stuff like that. Really got it going on. Great flavor. We're gonna crack this open. I may have this for breakfast. But uh, that's gonna do it for today's show. Thank you for joining me on this fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. I'm your host, Chef Joseph. And remember, there are no rules in cooking. Don't forget to subscribe. Taste this.